next revaluation of property. This is a $150,000 one year appropriation for um, securing a services of a licensed reevaluation firm to provide a town wide reevaluation of the property in Hampton. And we just Mr. LeBranch. I, I know that the um, we're supposed to do an, uh, an evaluation every five years, and perhaps somebody could come in and explain to me. Seems like we just did. Yeah, there's an equalization rate that ca oh, yeah. that can cause when you go below seventy percent on the equalization. Oh, excuse me, ninety. Yeah, when you go below ninety percent on the equalization rate, the, um, the the law requires you to do a reevaluation at that point in time. So you can go as long as five years with a reval. Okay. But it could be shorter if your equalization is below 90%. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I fully understand now. It has been reported, I believe, at the previous selection meeting that we're presently at 84%. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, I think the average is 87, but I think one of the groupings is 84, I think. But the average of them all is about 87%. Right, so apparently, you know, we're either, well, we already are under 90% or we're on the precipice close, of it or whatever. So I guess the attitude is let's raise the money before we're told by the state that we have to do it because there's an anticipation we'll be told to do it. Miss Barnes. Yes, I also want to let the uh, budget committee know that I've been having discussions with Ed Tigger for the past year or so about this before while well, he was still full time and subsequent to him working over at MRI. And he's been telling me for that whole time that we're probably looking at either 19 or 20 for our next reval. so. Hmm. Consistent with my conversation with Ed when I could speak to him freely. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Moore. This is just a question in general. If, uh, currently, the way, the, the way the economy is going in a positive way, but at the same time, in recent weeks, the month of December, the stock market, the uh, Tariffs were imposed upon other people. The economy could potentially plunge. Now, this let, let me finish. If it does plunge, house prices are going down. If they did go down, this is the question. Then we might automatically go from 87 up to 95, using this as a pretend example only, and then we wouldn't have to do that at this time. But we would do it on the fifth year anyway. Correct? I believe that's true, but I don't know it to be true. Mr. Branch. That's a good point, David. <laughs> the market went up, though, 1,086 1, points today. Today. Yeah. And I, I was it 1,800? Really? Not 1,800. 1,089. Oh, okay. Mr. Oh, that was a oh. Santa Claus gift. That's how they dubbed it on the press. Just, just to clarify something that you alluded to, interest rates climb. If interest rates climb, property values decline only because you have to pay more. When interest rates drop, property values go up. Got it. See. So going back to your situation, regardless of what happens with the economy, if, if the Fed continues to raise interest rates, and they're looking at two interest rate increases in the year 2019, property values will tend to drop. OK, you know, the bottom line is you want to get into that little game of what causes real estate prices to be what they are. That's a very Supply large to topic. But what you're speaking to is the ability, David, the ability of the marketplace to pay. Okay? And part of the ability of the marketplace to pay, since the marketplace generally, although not always, but generally thinks of what's affordable in terms of a monthly expense, which brings in the interest rate, but also whether or not they have a job, which brings in the economy. Sure. So you can both be right. Thank you. Okay? Not trying so to let's that. drop this conversation, please, about what causes property to rise or, or fall. Question. Please. please. <laughs> it's every five years. When was the last one done? Two I think it was three, three years ago. 2016. 15, 15, yeah, I mean, 15. Wasn't it 7? I thought it was 15. No, it's just I heard 15, I heard 17, I heard 16. Going once, going twice. Well, it doesn't matter, Dave, when it was done last. Well, if it was done last, we'd have to do the 50 year anyway. That's my point. With the, no, the it's not. It's, it's, it's going to, we're going to have to do it before the five years. Though. That's for yeah. sure. I can't remember if it was 15 or 16, but. 
well, 21 would say it was 60 in the uh, yeah, right. Okay, so what do we want to do? Do we want to vote on this or we want to delay this for a subsequent meeting? I could vote on it. I, I could vote. It. You want to delay it? Please, I want to delay it. You want to delay yeah. it? Yeah. What do you want in here to discuss this? The assessor. We don't have an assessor. By firm. appointment. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you saying? Well, we have an assessor by, by, by you know, appointment. No, he's not an assessor. He's a consultant. Oh, a consultant. That's right. Yeah. Don't we have a deputy, deputy yeah. assessor? No. Oh yeah. Well, technically we do. Yes. Yeah, we have yes. Charlene. Yeah. Charlene. You want Charlene to come in and explain this? She's a deputy. Her. Anybody else? Why not her? She probably could explain it. Yeah. Okay. Then so be it. Yeah. 